Well, good morning, everybody. It is uh, going to be very windy and cold today. Um, the north wind is blowing. I'm at Bishop's Bowl Fishery today, which is a local fishery for me. Um, well, it's 20, 28 minutes drive, so that's local for me. So um, I've managed to get on the Silverfish uh, Winter League as a, as a guest, basically, uh, filling in for someone. Um, it's a good league. There's about 48, 50 anglers on some really good anglers. I was like Sean Ashby and Cam Hughes and you know England internationals on it, as well as some really good local stars and everything. Um, I'm on marshes today. I've drawn peg three. Um, I've not fished this lake since they've um, redone it. Um, they've extended it, and um, there's, I know there's a shallow side and a and a deep side. The original lake's deep, which is where you want to draw. But I've drawn peg three, um, which is just where the new part of the lake starts. I'm, I've got a spit to my right and um, it's only going to be four or five foot deep and it's probably three or four foot deeper to the left. Um, but we'll see, they reckon the, the shallower pegs to the right, they'll all catch roach and the deeper pegs to the left will we'll all catch eyed. So I'm somewhere in between. Um, but we'll see, there's some good anglers in the section. But um, it'll be nice, just nice to make a change. I, I'm expecting to fish for Ide, and so I'm just going to be fishing maggots, I think. I can't see me doing much else, maybe not even putting any ground bait in. So maggots and pinkies, that's it. Hopefully, you know, the target's going to be eight to 10 pound, um, maybe 20 pound if it fishes, but it's gone so cold, a lot of rain. I don't think you're going to want much more than 10 pound. Certainly, I think a lot of people have a lot less than 10 pound, probably four, five, six pound. So uh, but if I can catch double figures of silverfish, catch some of these nice eyed that are supposed to be in there, that'll be really nice. They catch really big weights of eyed here in the summer, but um, I think they'll all be balled up and with their mouth shut a little bit um, in January. But anyway, wish me luck. We've got five hours to see if we can catch some eyed or not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what have we got there? Where? Let's do some oh, yeah. No, no, I've got a sack of them there. Is that enough? Yeah, you're on. Say hello. Hello, everyone. You're going to give me a pound in five hours? Probably not. Can't afford it. <laughs> so what are you doing? Strapping? Do you have a strap on? I've got a strap on. I've got a way of a strap on. It's good. It's all about when we get like that. <laughs> I'm just going to fish maggots everywhere, I think. Maybe a little bit of ground bait in one spot. Tiny bit. But uh, two 30 metre swims. Uh, seven metre swim. And a, a couple of throwaway edge swims just in case there's some if it's rock hard. Definitely will catch down the edge. Fish, fish, fish maggots and maybe pinkies everywhere. There we are, it's all in. There's that weed bear. Long swim to begin with. A few pinkies. The end of his pallet there. A little bit of ground bait. Pinch of maggots. Pinch of pinkies. Down in three. Three and a half foot of water to my right. Yeah. This is a throw away. See what's lurking. Probably nothing. Absolute throw away to him, that. Right, and then finally, a few maggots and pinkies to my to my left. Now, let's get a slow start. Need to squadra out. I'm ready to go. It's not a single maggot. I think we're going to hook a few carp here. This peg looks very carpy to me. From what I'm led to believe, it's, it's eyed that we're after. Not a lot else. There's some little baby crusions. And there are some skimmers in here. But I gather they're few and far between. Uh, I think it's going to be important to rattle a bit of bait in. Just keep peppering a little bit of bait in. Uh, catch fish on the drop with nice strung out rigs. That's, that's all I'm going to do today. So, just keep flicking a bit of bait. I think fish like Ide and Roach come to that little pitter patter. 
Oh, skimmer fishing would be more about setting traps, I think. I've been told I'm not on a very good path. We've got five hours to see if they're right or wrong. Might go along pretty quick. Just want to have a very quick look short up first. There we are. What have we got here? Intrusion. Perch. Hey. I didn't even know that we're on. I've got worms behind me and I've got, uh, got a load of ground bait, but I'm not really expecting to use any of it. I was hoping to draw on the on the other lake called White Bishop, which is full of decent skimmers and stuff. But I really think it's going to be vital to lose feed a little bit. We'll flick a few pinkies as well. Because if carp are a problem, then we'll be uh, catching on pinkies instead. <laughs> I've just got a size 20 hook on 08, 6 inch hook length. And I think it's going to be important to keep lifting and dropping and working that reef. I don't think we're going to catch short. Just a light peppery. I'm going to fire up a left hand swim, probably work two, two 30 meter swims I think, but we'll just see what's happening on this one first, before we fire up a second one. So I was hoping it'd be deeper to my left, but it's actually shallower, so the deepest area is straight in front. If it's really bad I could chuck a bomb or a little maggot feeder, I don't think that'll be right today. Filled a lot of bait up in that part, but I'm gonna feed my short swim on the way out. Imagine them pegs to my left that are all wind off the back, sheltered. There's loads of silverfish top in there whilst I've been setting up. I've not seen a single fish move here. We we'll just keep rotating all three swims, fully expecting a slow start. I'm just going to lose three to the right and pop to the left. Oh, carp. <laughs> Might not be a carp. One nil to the carp. Yeah, first bite long. Carp. Hopefully that's the only one. I'm wrapped up like Michelin Man today as well. A bitterly cold wind left to right, and I knew we'd be quite exposed on this lake. Bye. Shy bite. She only feed like four or five maggots. Gonna get these fish revved up. We're not bottom fishing for these, I think we're fishing through the water. I don't naturally live on the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's all right. No, it's <laughs> Well, the good news is all three swims in the open water have produced. The bad news is I've had two tiny perch and a carp. <laughs> Richie Reynolds opposite has just had an eyed on his long line. Quite fancy that, those two pegs there. That's it, that's the only other fish I've seen caught. We'll lay it in a couple of times. I told you I was on a carp peg. There's lots of carp on a single pinky. Just come off. 
Thing. Give a good bite that as well. Oh, that might be an eye. Give me the one around. What's going on here? It's not an eye, is it? <laughs> two roach, two perch, two carp. Richie's bagging. What you got? You had any eye? They're all in Richie's bag. If it's any windy, I won't be able to hold this. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to put them in on this fishery. Any big fish, not bad. You're not supposed to drop them in. Too far over there if you don't get a bite or you don't see a bite. Come up to the bottom, you can't hit a bite. So, uh, this fish there is just the wind's horrible. It definitely seems fishing out of this corner is best, as I expected. Just on the top of that one. Again, left hand swim. Snaggy bottom. Oh, 
Rich is cool. I'm cool. I can't see anyone else. Although I can't really see the guy to my left. He's out. He's out my eyes. Doesn't sound like they're catching to our right too much. I want to keep laying it in. But I'll wait a little bit for a bite to develop when it's this cold. It is January. Is January the worst month in the world for fishing? <laughs> I think it is. We certainly won't be on a river today. Oh, that's a car. Oh, why not, Bill? Bolted off as if I'd opened the car. I don't do anything, I just flap around that thing. That's why it's important to have that long landing net for these. Oh, I hooked him, I thought, crikey, that's a car. Definitely seems to want to be off the bottom a little bit, just touching or a couple of inches off seems about right. Hybrid. <laughs> Thought it was a car. Probably oh. hybrid. Didn't know they were in here. You know it's a hybrid, you gotta bloody stand up and hit it. That was a big hybrid. No idea. Oh he said you were no idea. Just as well you just punched me in the chops. Don't just show that they're not catching at all to the right. They're all in this bowl to the left, which is what I half expected. I'm tempted to sort of abandon this long 30 metres from me, just pot it now and again, but I just think that way is where it's at. I don't really want to split the fish too much if they're this. Uh, I just it's nice to have somewhere to drop drop onto if I have to. Wind's just dropped. Oh, if it stays like this, it'd be nice. Wind dropping didn't last long, did it? We'll see. We get. We'll give it another five minutes here, and then we'll, we'll risk going out of fourteen. I would say Richie's blitz in the lake, and then hopefully, well, I'll be top three or four if I'm not second. Right, we're out to 14 and a half now. I think we'll we'll find them again. They're definitely backed off these fish. There's like a car. That's the only problem going further out. Yeah. That were a car up. Broke me. Touching bottom, single maggot. If you go over depth, you don't see a bite. So I'm holding out on a really tight line. If there's anything was shallow, you'd have, you'd have get a little dink on the way down, but nothing. They're just hovering off the bottom, I think. These fish. First fish I've had. Oops. Oops. Spat the hook out in the net. The only pattern is there is no pattern and you have to wait for a bite. Oh, I've moved again now because that bottom's just too I've snagged up three times on it now, so it's obviously 
not a nice spot. I just don't feel the fish are going to want to be there. But I've gone straight in front now, sort of 15 metres. I've tried going all the way to the left, it just gets shallower and shallower. Definitely feels like there's some fish in there now. Yep. We should have been like this all day, we'd have been like. I'll show you the rig quick. This is the only rig I've really caught on. I've got a size 20 prototype silverfish hook on there. That's on 08, 16 truck length. And I've just got number 12s. There's about 10, 10 number 12s all the way in the bottom half. One under the float, because I like a number 12 under a carbon stem. Helps it cock. And then uh, that's a 4x12 Malman Secret, which is about 0.2 gram. That's on 014 mainline. I've got a number 8 back shot and a number 5 elastic for a full kit. Very simple stuff. Well, there we are. Typically, the weather's lovely now. <laughs> I've ended up um, second on the lake. I've had 14 pounds 12 ounces, so they've weighed uh, quite a bit more than I expected, actually. It's a job to gauge how big those eyes are. And uh, Richie Reynolds, who I said, well, I knew after half an hour he was going to win the lake, but he did slow up at the end. He's had three good skimmers, or bream, shall we call them. He's weighed 22 pound. And then um, these two pegs in the corner there, they've both had 13 pound. So, uh, but it's been a very patchy day. Um, Dan Oliver who I said was catching crucians. He's weighed four pound, five ounces of all little crucians, lovely little net of fish. Um, but yeah, so uh, anyway, I've won the section and second on the lake. So not bad for my first ever match on marshes actually so uh and it's nice to see it now it's changed and um been extended and everything um be a very good carp like this in the summer so uh hopefully i'll get to fish it a bit more this year don't forget to check out my channel members area as well if it wasn't for my channel members i wouldn't be able to do films like this one as well it all adds up and it really does make a difference so uh keep supporting my channel like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you on another fishing session